Well, hi, and welcome to another LRCC Soundbite. I'm carrying on again, uh, looking at stories written down by a man called Luke in the Bible about the things that Jesus said when he was here on earth a couple of thousand years ago. This week, I'm going to think a little bit about how we decide things about other people. When we do that, we use what we call our judgment. Sometimes we decide someone is trustworthy. Someone de we decide, sometimes we decide whether someone deserves a second chance. Um, maybe we decide whether we can respect the person and, and listen to what they say. We're constantly making judgments. Apart from you know, those times when we say, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to reserve judgment on this because I don't know yet. On one occasion, Jesus said uh, to his followers that we should not judge others. We shouldn't be hard on others and we shouldn't be unforgiving of others. The reason he gave was that the way we treat others is the way that God will treat us. Jesus gave some related advice as well. In some ways, it's a little bit of an odd analogy, especially if you think visually. He said, don't try and take a speck out of someone else's eye if you have a log in your own eye. I never quite got that image, you know, how could you deal with something as big as a log in your eye? But if you think about it, even a small speck in your own eye appears very large in your vision because it's so close. And what Jesus is saying is simply this, it's better to clear your own vision before trying to help someone else. So what does that mean? Because I don't think Jesus was trying to give advice about how you deal with eyes. I think Jesus was talking about some of the things that make us not so good, some of the things that we might do wrong. And he's saying, don't pick up other people for doing something wrong if you also are doing things wrong, especially if it's the same thing. You know, we could um, equate this to some of the things in the media that we hear about. The one that came to my mind was at Partygate. Uh, many people have lost a lot of respect for people in the government for doing things in the lockdowns over the last couple of years that went against the regulations in force at the time. Jesus was saying that God is the only one who can truly judge fairly and indeed has the right to judge because he is perfect. Maybe you've heard that word holy to describe God and that's what it means. As people who have done and continue to get things wrong, who are we to decide about other people? So let's just think about your, something you might say to me. You know, what, what about jury service when you're asked to go and judge something? Well, even given what Jesus has said, huge amounts of our life is about judging things. When I sit down, I make a judgment about whether the chair I'm going to sit on looks sufficiently solid for me to be safe. If I serve on a jury, I'm presented with evidence and I'm asked to weigh that evidence and make a judgment to decide what I think about that case. And that is all fine and good. Those are things that Jesus endorsed even, and they are right to do. What we need to be aware of are the times when our judgment clouds what we do. Maybe it's not necessary and maybe it's not helpful. Jesus advocated helping others. He said, if someone asks for my help, don't judge whether or not you feel they're worthy of your help. Help them. That's what it's really about. Be there for people. Don't judge them in a way that causes us to not see them as our human brothers and sisters, because fundamentally we are one human race. And he also said, don't expect anything in return, because if you're helping someone, this isn't a transaction true help just goes from you to them. If you live around here, it would be great to see you this afternoon, any time between two o'clock and five o'clock. We're at number 44 Lindbergh Road outside. All are welcome and there's no judgment. Have a great week. God bless you.